Coming up next, I'm going to review one of the newest fragrances from Ormond Jane, the British niche house, and this is Zion. Zion. Take a look at this beauty. Coming up next. Welcome back, everybody, to Joel the Nose, doing a little bit different angle today from my house because I felt like standing up and doing this video. A lot of times in my house I sit down and I just feel I have more energy when I'm standing up. So this review is going to be a full review of Zion. That's X-I apostrophe A-N. I have the decant here, if you guys can see it there. So I know it's kind of the darkness doesn't show up real well. Um, this is, to show you if you haven't seen the bottle, this is part of their series. It has like these orange bottles. Do, 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 so you can get it in there. I know that I actually got to get the light on it a little bit better, right? So take a look at that there. I have the decant. Um, anyways, you get the picture. Classic shape of the kind of rectangular bottle with the silver cap. And this one has like an orange ombre, which is like a faded, kind of starts out a little bit darker orange and then goes clear to the top of the bottle. Great bottles. This was released actually at the end of 2020, but uh, it only was released kind of outside the US. Uh, I know it was released in Europe. I don't know what other parts of the world, but it was not released in the United States. And it just got released here in the US exclusively to Osme Perfumery in Miami. So if you want to buy it and you're in the US, Unless you go overseas or buy it internationally, you have to get it here. So it's kind of a scoop for Osme, which is very cool. And I got to smell it a couple days ago. I've worn it a couple times, and now I've been wearing the decant that I have and wanted to give you a full review. By the way, it's an Eau de Parfum. It is unisex. And for a 50 milliliter bottle, it is $175. You know, again, I think very well priced for such a high-end niche fragrance like Ormond Jane. So the, the top notes that they list, they don't go into a big detail of everything in there, but they list, it looks like black pepper, nutmeg. Then at the heart, they have cedarwood and rhubarb. And at the base, they list musk and sandalwood. So when you spray this on, and I'm going to kind of give you a little spray here so you can kind of see my reaction. When they spray this on, whoops, it would help if I sprayed the direction the right way. All right. Um, I just love this. I smelled four of these the other day. I'm going to be reviewing some of the other ones, but of the four, this one caught my attention right off the bat. That's why I want to do a full review. Right off the bat, it's warm, it's spicy, it's sexy, it's clean, it's bright, and I know it says black pepper and nutmeg at the top, but I also kind of detect some type of citrus. I think lemon or bergamot. I've been really training my nose lately on the essential oils, and I'm definitely smelling not a neroli or an orange or even a pettigrain, but I think more of a lemon or a bergamot. And it's got a touch of sweetness also at the top, which I don't know if that's the rhubarb coming in, which is at the heart, but I love this opening. This is a very unique opening. It's very classic Ormond Jane. You can tell it's Ormond Jane. She has a DNA in her fragrance. By the way, Linda Pilkington, the creative director of the house, there's just something that runs through them that you know it's, it's, it's just Ormond Jane. It's got that British uh, je ne sais quoi, that just British flair to it. Um, and I would say at the top, it leans a little bit more masculine than feminine. Still unisex, but love it on my skin. As it starts to dry down, after about 45 minutes, the lemon to me was a little bit more pronounced, and also it starts to get a little bit of that muskiness from the base. And it's one of that those musky, it's not like a more kind of, musk to me can either go very clean or can kind of go almost dirty sexy. And this is that kind of dirty sexy musky to me. And it's very, very sensual, very appealing, and very good on the skin. That starts to come through after about 45 minutes on my skin. And I'll say this. I wore this this morning. I've been wearing it all day. I wore it to a breakfast with one of my best friends who I have breakfast with a couple times a week. You know, he knows all about my fragrance journey. We talk about fragrances. 
He rarely comments on something that he smells on me. This one immediately when I walked up to greet him, shake his hand, he was like, what are you wearing? I can smell it. So this was projecting about an hour and a half after I had put it on, was projecting, he could smell it. And he's like, basically, I love this fragrance, whatever you're wearing. So got a compliment right away. Um, as it dries down, it goes in the heart. It starts to get a little bit sweeter again. I think that's from the rhubarb. I kind of looked up the rhubarb note because I'm not super familiar with rhubarb and, and it, because it actually was giving me a feel of rose. I was getting the smell of like something of rose. I saw that rhubarb can kind of smell like rose. So definitely, I wouldn't be surprised also if, if they put rose in this fragrance and it's just not listed because I can smell it and rhubarb accentuates rose very well from what I could read about. Um, I would say that it also gets a little bit tangy. So again, maybe that rhubarb, that cedar wood, but I wasn't in the heart getting a ton of cedar. It was more of this kind of warm, tangy, little bit sweet, almost, almost rosy smell to it, which I loved, very unique. Then as the dry down started and it started getting to the base notes, after about the four hour mark is when the cedar wood really kicked in for me. So it was for me on my skin, a little bit more in the dry down than in the heart. But again, it got a little powdery from the sandalwood. You still had that sexiness from the musk and you had that warm, woody cedar wood note that just does really well on my skin. So I really like that. Gotta say, still had a little bit of that rhubarb rose smell that just kept it sensual and sexy. I think this is a very sexy, sensual fragrance. It got very much unisex in the heart and dry down, so good for men or women. And uh, what else can I say? Love, love this fragrance. Definitely recommend it. Try to get a sample. Again, if you can get it from Osmade. They have samples, you can order a sample, but I really think a lot of you guys out there who watch my channel and know the fragrances I like, you guys are gonna like this one too. So there you have it. This is Joel the Nose. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't signed up for Scent Explore 2021, hit the link below so you can get that early bird discount. And um, I'll be back soon, of course, with another video. Peace and love.